This is Fred Neiman of Hanlon Neiman, a central New Jersey law firm practicing elder law in all 22 counties of the state of New Jersey. I wanted to address with you today the topic of spousal liability for the debts of a deceased spouse. Oftentimes the questions raised, will I be responsible for the final expenses of my husband or wife? And the answer is, it depends. Now you may say, Fred, that's not a very satisfying answer. And and I concede that, but the general rule is, unless the liability or the claim is the result of a person's final illness and the expenses attended to a final illness, for example, hospitalization, doctor, pharmaceutical, and other related expenses, a spouse is not responsible legally for the debts of their deceased spouse. Now, the exceptions to the rule generally apply to whether the spouse agreed in writing or verbally to pay for the obligations of a spouse. For example, if there have been contracts signed between both spouses which obligate both spouses to repay a debt, then the death of one spouse does not relieve the surviving spouse from that liability. Good examples, car loans. If you take out a car loan and you both sign it, you're both responsible. If you buy a house and you sign a note in a mortgage and one spouse dies, the surviving spouse is liable for satisfaction of that liability because the surviving spouse agreed and signed his or her name to the instruments which created the debt. But if it's general unsecured debt, meaning debt that does not have a security interest or to which the surviving spouse did not specifically agree to repay, the rule is a surviving spouse is not responsible for the debts of their deceased spouse.